Hi guys, as my granddaughter is known to say when she comes over and gets out her favorite little stuffed animal friends or buddies. I keep them in her um, toy closet and uh, she always says, hi guys, I'm here. It's just so cute. And one of them is happens to be a um, monkey. And his name used to be Guy, little stuffed monkey. That was my son's. And uh, I kept it all these years and now it has become her best buddy and she calls him George. Anyway, hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new, a big welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, hello friends and welcome. Today, this is not really a get ready with me, but I am gonna go ahead and um, do my makeup because I'm getting ready to go out. Uh, hold on, I forgot something. I mean, seriously guys, what would a video be if I didn't really forget something? So basically, welcome. Let me get back and just say, if you're new and you're just joining for the first time, I welcome, welcome. And uh, if you like my content that I put out in the video, I would love it if you would subscribe. Um, this is just not really a true get ready with me. It's just, um, I am gonna be doing my face for today um, because I'm getting ready to go out and run some errands and I just wanted to chit chat with you and share a couple of things now that uh, I am uh, slowly getting back on my feet. Why my skin is really red today. Don't know why. Hmm. I'll have to assess but getting back on my <coughs> feet and trying to get into um, a schedule again um, since I've been sick I've really fell behind on a lot of things that uh, I had planned to get done but uh, really couldn't but um, you know I'm just slowly starting to get to the point where I'm just like regrouping because I've been doing some of my uh, Marie um, tidying up and um, just got back into my closet again this last week and really purged and did a great clean out which I needed to because since I moved uh, there were some uh, articles of clothing that I just wasn't sure I really was going to need since I've moved to the south and didn't really want to just dispose of but um, now it's pretty much time to do that and so I made a nice donation sna stack and a stack to donate to friends and um, so I just felt so good and when I walked in the next morning after everything was um, reorganized and put up it just felt like you know a hundred pounds was lifted from me and um, what I ended up doing this time and I'll let you know how it's gonna work and I'll try to insert a picture here um, I folded my jeans that I wear normally for every day and um, instead of hanging them because when you hang them even though I'm really good about using those skinny hangers I do think they make a lot more room in your closet it's just the bulkiness you know of jeans and so I had a um, wide short um, clothing hanger that I hung up vertically and folded all my jeans and they fit great and I figured whatever doesn't fit it's time to donate I need to get rid of because do I need that many pair of jeans according to Marie I uh, know I don't so I did my thank yous and my appreciation and I've passed things on and um, I'll kind of take a few photos and just sort of show you my uh, little area here that um, I've organized but I think it's gonna work out really great but what I really wanted to talk to you about and here I am sitting talking to you I've got stuff I got to do here um, I really want to talk to you about um a journey that i'm on and i would love it if you would like to um if you would be interested in what i'm doing on that journey um i plan on doing some videos about it um, periodically you know maybe not every week but maybe just um you know a couple times a month um but um hold on
okay back again but anyway um, this journey that I'm going on is my is going to be a weight loss journey and um, one of my commitments this year and I had no real plan for it was to just concentrate on better health and I have to say I really and truly oh, I still got those dark circles man who I think I need a little extra pump yeah sinus you know but I made a commitment this year to really want to go on more of a healthier journey um, I'm 63 and a half eat going to be 64 in a few months and listen if I haven't gotten it by now I'm never going to get it and I need to lose weight so that my health can be improved and so I have had success with Weight Watchers many years ago and um, I lost quite a bit of weight after I had my baby well <laughs> Yeah, I carried that up. I didn't gain a lot of weight when I was pregnant, but had gained a little bit of weight before I was pregnant. And um, I'm using a sample of makeup. Um, it's uh, Light Wonder by Charlotte Tilbury. Ooh, and I love it. Yeah, that's the problem with these samples. You just love it and you get hooked. But anyways, so... I went to Weight Watchers. I took off quite a bit of weight. Actually, guys, I was even in the Weight Watcher magazine when I reached my goal weight. I think my total goal weight, I lost about, well, 80 pounds because, you know, a lot of that was that after baby weight that I carried. And I kept that weight off for a number of years. Uh, I actually even took some Weight Watcher um, training after that to be a um, leader um, but because you know I had a small child and all that I just didn't want to do that but I continued and I went to meetings and I just really you know fell right into the swing of it and I kept the weight off for a number of years and then you know life changes things happen and we were going through our very first transfer with my husband's job. And at the time I was a stay at home mom. And so, you know, for me, I was like, well, wherever you go, I go. And um, I can see I'm gonna need a little bit of cover up touch up because skin is just, a little, oh, I know why. Yeah, I did a little facial on my face and you know that does sometimes make it a little bit redder but um so i'm just doing some undercover i usually put this on first but i didn't so so anyways back to the weight loss story so we moved from out of state and um it was a pretty big deal and you know uh you know how it is when you move you just you, everything your whole life is just upside down and you know you just kind of get out of your schedule and you try get, getting back to things and you know it was hard because we had to go and buy a home in Illinois while we still owned a home in Texas and then sell that and then uh, blah, blah 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 move and then get reestablished with all new doctors and stuff like that and um, you know it was just it was hard and at the time not only was it hard I mean I'm pretty much an expert on moving now because oops we've done it so many times but at the time it was you know very stressful and you know I had uh, my son that I was concerned about and you know making sure that he made the transition and adjustment and you know new state didn't know a soul husband's working all the time so you know it was hard um, but at the time I started to slowly gain some weight and um, just being under you know this additional stress and uh, getting out of my normal eating habits healthy habits um, I um, went to the doctors and 
you know, was getting myself established and set up and started um, just, I don't know, just kind of feeling sluggish, not back, you know, and just kept trying to get back on track and I just couldn't do it. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I just, I was just involved in other things and other activities and, you know, just, I, I just wasn't following Weight Watchers. And, um, you know, it's, it's really a, a well-balanced plan for eating um, in the right proportions and the right foods and all that. Well, anyways, I had some high blood pressure. Now, it's very hereditary in my family. And um, I happened to have what's called toxemia in my pregnancy. And it was so rare to have it in the first trimester. And I did. My mother also struggled with issues with high blood pressure in her pregnancies. And so, uh, long story short, during that particular, my uh, one and only pregnancy, I had to stay flat on my back from flat on my back. I mean, no getting out of bed until, unless I had to get up and go to the bathroom. And um, I couldn't get up and cook for myself or no activity I mean flat on my back because the toxemia levels in the first trimester were just dangerous and that seemed to be what would settle things down so during my pregnancy I, that started when I was about mm, three and a half months pregnant four months and then flat on my back till he was born and I was in and out of the hospital over hospital stays three or four times and um, he did come a month early, but thank God he, his lungs were fully matured and, um, you know, we had all those amniocentesis, I think amniocentesis tests done and tested his lungs two different times and they felt that it was safe enough to go ahead and um, take him at the time that they did and I was fine and he was fine and the amazing thing about that is once the baby's born you know your blood pressure just goes back to normal um, it was just so strange and of course in and out of the hospital stays and um, stuff like that I ended up having to go live with my husband's um, grandmother and mom and uh, stepfather-in-law because I had to have somebody with me at all times so I ended up doing that and so because of that, then later on, I just developed issues with blood pressure. Young, yes, uh, unusual, not really, because my family just has it. And um, then um, I was put on a certain kind of blood pressure medication that was good for my blood pressure and good for uh, my heart rate because at the time they did some extra testing and they just felt that, you know, I just had a little bit of a high uh, heart rate and, you know, they did uh, ultrasounds and made sure everything was okay. Just a little slight murmur, nothing, no big deal, but that this would be the best medication to be on. But also to be on that medication, also it comes with, you know, blood pressure medicine it's supposed to work to you know keep your pressure normal and all of that so yes it does do that but it also kind of slows things down in your system so maybe you know I always said oh well my metabolism was in a state of uh, I've never had a rapid fast metabolism um, but I never had you know any issues with it growing up but then all of a sudden it's like okay now it's in a coma and I slowly, after being on the medication, started gaining weight. And I couldn't figure out, okay, what's going on? I'm still eating, I guess the same, but yeah, I'm not exercising as much and maybe I'm not paying attention as much as I should, but irregardless of that, I mean, it was just like, it just crept on. And then, you know, first it was like 10 pounds that year and then, you know, uh, another 10 pounds after that and I was just like what the heck so it got out of hand 
and I s did s go back to a couple of meetings and made the excuse I couldn't find my niche. It wasn't comfortable enough for me. I just didn't have the same leader. I, you know, whatever excuse I could come up with. And uh, plus, I love to cook, and um, I just got off track and gained weight. And as you gain weight, and you know, you're taking medication and you're not doing anything to amp up your um, metabolism and uh, speed things up, well, guess what? You're going to gain weight. And the older you get, the harder it is to lose. I always say, you know, it's not too difficult to lose weight if you're on a good program. It's difficult to just maintain. Now, throughout the years, I will say, yes, my job changed and I became very sedentary and, you know, you put on those extra... I don't know, what are they called when you go to college? Freshman 15? Well, let's call mid-age 40. <laughs> mid-age 40 pounds, you know. And a couple of times when I approached my doctors, and I had two different doctors, about changing the blood pressure medicine that, you know, would maybe not have this effect, it was like, no, this is the best medication for you and for your organs, and you want to be concentrated with that, and you can lose you just have to stay under this, you know, specific calorie count, exercise, that's what's going to help. And did I listen? No, of course not. But do I know better? Yes. And so it just, you know, it gets out of hand and I'm older now and I want to be healthy. And so that's been my goal this year. Uh, I don't really care what the scale says. I care about how I feel how my clothes fit, and I can honestly tell you probably for the last, I'm going to say five years, give or take, you know, five or ten pounds, I've just basically stayed the same. So back on Weight Watchers, long story short, absolutely have found I love, love the program, love the program. And, um, it's just it's easy now let me let me also say this I started I joined online so that I could get the benefit of the extra free month and get the all the digital um, app program which is absolutely wonderful and um, right in the mist right before just the brink of when I was getting sick so I signed up of course and I didn't want to um, miss anything so I dragged myself there once I signed up um, I think it was a Friday and then Tuesday the area that I live in had um, a meeting and I knew I was going to commit to going to the meeting and listening and all of that and you know I just need to do some more blending um, I went and then boom I have my first weigh-in and um, I get sick and of course getting sick it just ugh, just came on so darn fast and talked about it it's just I, I wasn't interested in eating or drinking or but during that time as I was <sighs> convalescing <laughs> trying to lay around get better you know I did a lot of reading on the program and looking at recipes and meal plans and watching videos um, for how you know people have been successful because it's called freestyle now with Weight Watchers and um, I, it's just a great program great 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 but in the mist um, I now am starting my fifth week so I continued and I did continue to go uh, to the meetings even though I was so sick it was just hard but I just made myself sit there do my way in and you know come home um, I am down 9.8 pounds so 9.8 pounds and I know 
a lot of that in the beginning is because I just was really struggling with my appetite. But again, that's not very good. So I did try to eat every couple of hours, just something. Um, and I tried to stay as much into the program as I could. Now I know for a good week and a half, I struggled with eating all the protein and I, I just couldn't. So anyways, um, I have just consistently lost mm, around two, a little, just depends, a, sometimes slightly under two, a little over two every week. And I think that's a real good um, weight loss for me. And since, you know, I have been feeling better, I have actually been getting out walking. And um, not a fast, vig vigorous cardio walk, but just to get out and uh, clear my mind, exercise my legs and my muscles, and just trying to get myself back to feeling good again. So I'm excited about this, and I just want to share, you know, my journey as I go along with it. Now, I had to think about this, guys, because I was like, how much do I really want to share? You know, do I want to sit here at this point right now and uh, blast my weight to ya uh, because you know that's always uh, an embarrassment or like wow are you kidding because I'll in no uncertain terms tell you I'm five foot three uh, on a really good day but you know kind of don't want to put that weight number behind it so as I continue on my journey I hope I will have the courage to tell you if you're interested actually what my weight is because I want to be as honest with you about this as I can and also I will share pictures of how I'm changing and that's hard to do because it's an image that you know gets posted out there on social media and people are cruel and you know all of that and I'm a pretty confident person but I am human like everyone else and you know I have feelings and I don't want to be sabotaged and my channel is not about that it is not about bashing other people it's not about um, you know making rude or nasty comments and you know when I see a nasty comment on my channel I delete it and I block it because I don't want others to get involved in um, saying anything and there's just kids out there playing and grown-ups who are playing just to be mean and nasty and that's okay that's their business but for me and my channel I want to keep it um, I want it to be a place that that you can come and comment and feel safe about commenting and um, secure and that I can share with you you know what I'm going through and do it as honestly as I can so I'm gonna just post this because this is just the beginning of my uh, you know journey and I'm gonna post this but I'm not quite sure I'm gonna post you my very beginning pictures right now I have to think about it because I know I'm gonna share them it's just you know I just got to build that courage up to do it and is it really that important well I I think it is because you know when I was in the Weight Watcher ma magazine and this was back in the late 80s I think I'll have to dig that issue out because I know I still have it somewhere I mean my before picture was just what was I really that heavy and you just don't see yourself and then my after picture of course you know oh sure I'll post that because man that looks really nice but I'm going to do this and I'm going to be very honest with you I'm going to share my um, bad moments with my good moments and um, really try to assess okay why did I fail and you know there is hasn't been a food that I haven't had 
So I love that. I love that I can look at it and I can communicate with my mouth and my actions and my brain to say, okay, I do want that, but I'm going to half it. And I'm going to make sure that I put it towards my daily. And there's just hundreds and hundreds of foods now that are just free. Um, you know, I can have snacks that I prepare through the week and I can have an egg, a hard boiled egg with some celery sticks and a um, cheese stick and some carrots and tomatoes and eat that. And it's two points. I mean, two points for all the points that you have during the day and it's filling, you're chewing, you're getting your crunch. And so I am going to share all of that with you. Um, but I'm going to go along with this and just do it as openly and honestly as I can and share with you some of my meal preps and just, um, you know, how I'm doing. Now, my total, I believe, I think to be comfortable at my age, uh, I'm going to, oh, I definitely have at least 40 pounds to lose. I definitely want to lose the 40 pounds. And I've just set a goal weight at around that but I'm going to see where I'm at health wise um, talk to my doctor and just how I feel at a weight that's comfortable for me to maintain no I am NOT gonna allow the scale to dictate to me now I do have to weigh in every week because it's part of the program and I think it's part of holding yourself accountable as to what you're doing um, so I hope you'll come along with me on this journey and I hope if I can inspire you to take a step towards better health um, or if you've been contemplating Weight Watchers that you'll go along um, on this journey with me and uh, that we can have some fun doing it. So let me know what you think about it and uh, until next time I got to get going because you know I get off track and jibber jabber but I kind of just uh, threw together just um, you know my face really quickly and um, of course just to add oh I forgot Ooh, I love putting on my I call it my finishing powder which is my Charlotte Tilbury and you can see I use it all the time I just tap it and rub it in Actually, I have Charlotte Tilbury pretty much on my whole face. I did my blush with Charlotte Tilbury. I did my um, um, my uh, setting powder was the Dior, but this finishing powder is the Charlotte Tilbury, and um, I used the foundation today. And now, my uh, favorite highlighter, Ooh, my Chanel, um, and I just like to highlight my cheeks here. It just adds a spark of... Uh, just that nice fresh glow <sighs> anything I can do to make myself feel better and then I'm just going to line I have some gloss on my lips because I always sit down first thing I do is moisten my lips with gloss and this pillow talk pencil just glides on beautifully and then I'll take some gloss and I'm done I'm ready to go run my errands so um, if there's anything you're interested in knowing like a product or something that I used oh just ask me and I'll let you know but until next time be kind be humble age gracefully bye